Hey, what's up everybody? The Rhyme Man here, coming to you with Persona 3 FES. Another video, this time we are beginning the answer. And I'm getting right into it because if I stay stoked too long on the main screen, it just loves to jump back to the intro. So, here we go. The answer, we're going to see what happens from the ending in the journey, I can only assume. I'm wondering if it will let me use... Ah, no. No save data. I guess it doesn't, like, carry over. Alright, new game. <clears throat> this option allows you to find out what happens after the events of the main story of Persona 3. We recommend that players finish the journey before playing this chapter. The combat difficulty is also higher in this chapter compared to the normal storyline. Oh, great. As if I didn't have enough trouble. <laughs> Oh, good. Good, good, good. Enjoy the increased challenge. Gee, I'm so happy. This ordeal... It may be that we brought it upon ourselves. that a future exists, and being able to access it, are very different things. We did not understand such an obvious and natural principle yet. Indeed, we understood very little. We knew nothing about using the key to open the path to the future. Uh, all I saw was Igus fighting Akihiko and Ken, so that bothers me. That bothers me a lot. Seems like we're going to turn on each other. All right, sometime before the incident... March 31st, 2010. Hmm. Hello? Uh, Yukari-chan. It's me. Um, are you coming today? Oh, uh... Didn't you see the message I left on the board? I have cram school today. I know, but... I left all the stuff at the dorm, so I don't have to be there in person, right? I suppose not, but... Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Oh, sorry. Break's almost over. I gotta go. Yukari sounds off. Let's see, it ended on March 5th, right? That's when we died, so... Tell everyone I said hi, okay? Yukari-chan's not coming after all. Sonata-san said he's busy at the gym. So I doubt he'll be here in time either. Man, what's up with those two? The dorm's closing down today. Oh, the dorm's closing down, huh? With all our memories of this place, you'd think they'd want to see it off, right? Hey. 
It can't be helped. They just see things differently. Everyone started down their own chosen path. It's a good thing. You're right. I can hardly blame them. They seem to get busier and busier. If I didn't have to reclaim these, I might not have made it either. So we finally got to give up our evokers. I hate to let it go, but it's not like I got a use for it anymore. Let's see, two, four... Wait, how many are there supposed to be? I guess... I believe this is all of them. Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? I'd forgotten. You had his for safekeeping. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I pretty much... I pretty much gathered it. You guys remember my reaction. Come on, don't get all gloomy again. You guys remember my reaction, like, just from the way she was talking and the way the dialogue was, I kind of pieced it together that it was like I was dying, and true to form, I called another plot point again. I don't think that's the way you would have wanted to see this end. I'm sorry. You're right. We all said our goodbyes to him. But I still wonder, why did it happen? The doctors didn't find anything wrong with him afterward. It just seemed like he fell asleep, didn't it? He must have used up all his power to protect us at that last battle. It's useless to try and guess at the reasons why. I am certain he didn't blame anybody for what happened. Yeah, Aichan's got that right. Hey, but I'm glad to see you're still hanging in there, I guess. Back then, it was like he was all you could think about. I'm... somewhat surprised as well. It's possible that I will not feel the full impact until I am alone tomorrow at the lab. The lab? Are you planning to commute to school from there next semester? Oh, no, I... I guess is returning herself to the lab tomorrow. She won't be enrolled as a senior. Ah, shit. She's not giving up her life, is she? Seriously? Why? Can't she stay in school like before? The decision was mine. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I enjoyed being with you all, but I need to find my own way of life. Oh, but you can come visit me anytime. I guess. Think of it as a new beginning for her. Anyway, we seem to have gotten on the wrong track, but today's not meant to be a sad occasion. Sorry if I'm occasionally, um, shifting. I'm trying to get into a good position for, uh, commentary. I've ordered excellent sushi for us all. The same as before, actually. We may not have been able to get everyone together, but we should all have dinner here tonight. Oh, that, that would be great! You got that sushi again? Sweet! No objections here! You're gonna join us, right, I guess? Of course. I couldn't miss spending time with you all. She's changed. She's been a lot more... social. The number of apathy syndrome cases is down from last month, which seems to mark an end to the strange illness. However, surveys show that the number of people who report serious stress in everyday life has not decreased. According to research carried out by the Ministry of Health and Welfare... Whoa, when did it get so late? 
It's almost midnight. It's hard to believe we've spent the evening doing nothing. Sitting here like this reminds me of those days. Perhaps that's why. I am calling it right now. Please, please go to the dark hour. <laughs> I think I can understand. I have so many memories of this lounge that I find myself spending time here for no reason. It's the same for me. When I'm here, I think about when we were still fighting. It's strange, since my memories of that time are more painful than happy. Well, all that stuff aside, doesn't something feel weird to you guys? I'll be walking around and people act like as long as they're happy right now, nothing else matters. Those stupid stories that Strega spread around are still out there, you know? It makes me think, is this what we almost died to protect? Are you saying people don't know how good they have it? <laughs> You're sounding like an old man. Hey, who asked you? That's out of our hands, I'm afraid. We prevented the fall, but we can't reform society. Yeah, I guess, but still. And that's the weather. At the tone, the time will be midnight. What was that? <coughs> midnight. It can't be. Is it the dark hour again? Nah, everything's fine out there. Wait. The news. Good evening. It is now March 31st. Here's a recap of the news from the 30th. The 31st was yesterday, right? Did the anchor misread the date? Hey, <sighs> is that all? Even they make mistakes every once in a while. It's nothing. Oh, <coughs> oh. Wasn't it? It's supposed to be April 1st today, right? But it's still March 31st. Weird. My cell says it's the 31st, too. Well, looks like a false alarm. So far, I'd agree. But something felt... off. <sighs> it's late. We should call it a night. What a lame finish to our last day in the dorm. <sighs> um... Would it be alright if I returned to my room? I have to prepare to move tomorrow. Sure. Good night, I guess. Night. I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko, just in case. What's going on? An hour later in Igis's room. When I close my eyes, I remember the last moment I spent with him. The day he fell asleep. We brought him back to our dorm, fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning, our fears became reality, and he was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression, and began seeing the same dream, night after night. A dream where I run after him, calling his name, but can never catch up. When he was alive, I promised to protect him, and I made that my reason for living. That promise is gone. Unfulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me, as if a prison door had swung open. I stopped dreaming, and I no longer required sleep. It's no 
use. I can't sleep. Can I really continue living like this? Huh? A butterfly? What the hell? Huh? What's going on? I guess, are you awake? Yes, I am. The door is open. I guess, we need you! Has something happened? It's not... another enemy, is it? It's hard to describe. The lobby floor opened up and... Uh, anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge! That's a new face for Fuka. I guess... adding the answer, they added in some new sprites. Understood. Come to think of it, the day my dream stopped... That must have been when the incident actually began. Huh? What's this? Everyone! Keep your guard up, I guess. It doesn't seem human. Who the hell? A shadow? No, this is... It can't be. The same model as me? You're... I guess? Huh? Sorry I'm late. Is everyone okay? Yes, for now. I need you to provide backup for I guess. All right. All right. Who are you? Why are you doing this? I'm Metis. I've come to protect you. Protect? Protect me from what? Protect me? These people pose a threat to you. That is why they will be eliminated. What are you saying? I won't let you hurt them. Then I have no choice. For your sake, I'll have to force you to back down. You must stand aside. I'm playing a Zygus. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Okay, so let's take a second here to look at my items. I have five medicine and three revival beads, which. Obviously enough, I won't be able to use. Can Fuka still use Oracle? No, she can't. Kill Rush, Slip Sight. Alright, let's get a buff on me. Haha! <laughs> It doesn't seem like darkness will work. Hero fan. Don't resist and I won't hurt you. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let me reapply the hit and evasion rate. Hesitating. Let's use a medicine just in case. Take this. Ah, 
shit. And we'll sleep. Oh, no. We're good. Alright, we're getting there. Please. Don't resist. Take Bitch, please, I'll resist as much as I want. The end! No! Eleven thousand experience? Holy crap. I went to level 25. Oh, look at her skills. Academics needs work. Charm, kind-hearted. Courage, fearless. Much stronger than expected. I have no choice. Huh? Is this? Is that ordeal mode? Orpheus? What's this? Don't tell me. Yeah, that was the same persona that awakened to a new power. Athena has metamorphed into Orpheus. Yeah! I recognize that from the first cutscene when uh, Rio gained that power.